Everybody knows that in the game of RuneScape, combat is the number one thing to do for money making. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the methods that doesn't require bossing to make the most GP per hour. If you're excited for it, stay tuned. Let's dive in. In this video, we're going to be talking about binding contracts. For the sake of keeping a video short, we're only going to be specifically talking about the Blood Reaver binding contracts. Now, this method is a mid-level method, possibly up to a high tier method if you really look at it that way. But the requirements are pretty simple. You need 73 summoning to be able to make the binding contracts. You need 73 slayer to even be able to attack the Blood Reavers. 68 archaeology to be able to do the Dagon by archaeology mystery 70 agility 70 range and 70 strength to be able to use the frozen key we can get into that in a little bit for the quest you do need to finish the dagon by archaeology mystery which is required for you to be able to make the binding contracts to be able to do this method also you need to do the death plateau and the troll stronghold to be able to enter the god wars dungeon also highly recommended in this is 90 plus combat stats in this video we are going to be using necromancy so you can probably be doing this method even at level 80. also you're going to want 96 plus herblord just so you can get your overloads and curses are a high recommendation to have unlocked for majority of combat within this game with this method you're also looking at about 52.4 million gp per hour making blood reaver scrolls that's insane for something that is so simple and possibly even AFKable. Along with that, you're looking at 250,000 XP per hour with Necromancy, 42,000 XP per hour with Summoning, and 80,000 XP per hour for your Constitution. Now, once you reach the requirements, the first step to do, of course, is to make your binding contracts. In order to do that, you need four materials. First off, you need your spirit shards, your hellfire metal, your blood of Orcus, and your blue charms. You can get the blood of Orcus and hellfire metal from archaeology material conscious. You just got to search around. Some are actually in the God Wars dungeon itself. For the spirit shards, you can actually buy them from the traders that do summoning within RuneScape. And I believe some traders do sell big packages as well. For blue charms, normal mode Arc Glacier is your go-to for charms. He drops three piles after each normal mode kill and always has charms in it. And blue charms are actually highly dropped from Arc Glacier. As for the method of making the binding contracts, there is a certain method that you can use with the trader in Taverly. You'll take your Hellfire Metal and your Blood of Orcus, you'll sell it to the trader, and then you just buy them back over time after you make your binding contracts. Now, a little fact about that is if you leave them in long enough, the stock for your materials does start to go down. So if you do this method, make sure you don't throw in a thousand at a time. Just do a couple hundred every so often and you'll lose maybe two material each while doing this method. Now, once you're finished making all of your binding contracts, now it's time to get ready to go fight all the Blood Reavers. So first off in the inventory, you're going to see I have Holy Aggro Overloads. You do not need them. I didn't know they were already aggro to you within the ancient prison. So you're going to at least bring Holy Overloads, at least a Super Restore Flask and all of your binding contracts and then plenty and plenty and plenty of magic note paper. As for the gear, I do run with the tier 95 set, but you can easily do it with the tier 90 death dealer set. Just in this video, you're going to see me running with the first necromancer set. So the gear is going to be first necromancer set. We are going to be running with the penance aura. If you don't have the penance aura, the vampirism aura does work 100% of the way as well. We do have the Zuck Cape. We have the Essence of Finality. You don't need it. A Blood Amulet will work just fine. We are also running with the Reaver Ring. Next, we have the Nexus to hold all of our ruins. I am running with the Tier 95 weapons in this video. You don't need them. Tier 90s would work perfectly fine. Next, we do have the Scripture of When God Book. 
in this video you're gonna see I don't even activate it so you don't really need it with you but it does do extra damage in case you want to make more profit by maybe getting a few more kills within your hour now you can find the blood reavers in the ancient prison which is in the God Wars dungeon itself behind the frozen door now before attempting to pass the frozen door you will need a frozen key in order to make the frozen key you need to collect all the parts from all the followers of the gods within the god world's dungeon itself without the frozen key there is no way to be able to pass the frozen door to access the blood reavers in the ancient prison now there is a few ways that you can get to the frozen door itself first off if you're a max player you can easily go up to the boss portal go to next and then you're just going to click option number one and then you're just going to go and teleport right into the stairway where it takes you through the frozen doorway to be able to go into the agent prison itself now if you don't have the pleasure of going through the max skill portal just quite yet you can always go to wars retreat reattune one of your portals to one of the bosses inside of the god world's dungeon itself in my opinion, I would say Kriara is probably the closest to the frozen door. Once you hop through the portal, you're going to be attacked almost immediately. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to run all the way across. And you're going to find the shortcut. And you're just going to jump across it. Once you're across the shortcut, you're just going to run southeast to the frozen door with the frozen key in your inventory. Unless you have permanently unlocked the frozen door itself. Once you go through the frozen door, you're just going to run down the stairs and you have accessed the ancient prison. Once you made it to the ancient prison, what you're going to do is you're going to go through the frozen doorway and you're going to run up to the snowy spot down in the south. This is the area where I found it best for the blood reavers spawning. So when you get to the spot, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to activate your overload. You're going to activate your scripture of wind book. You're going to activate either your vampirism or your penance aura. And then you're just going to attack all the Blood Reavers in the area. Now, once you start collecting your Blood Reaver scrolls, you're going to use a magic note paper on it. And you're just going to note every single scroll that's in your inventory. Now, if you are fully active while doing this method, you can expect anywhere between 600 to 650 kills an hour. Now, you can make this an AFKable method. But the problem with that is, is when you're standing in the middle, you're going to have all the warriors and all the rangers attacking you. And you're going to be turning your attention to attack them back instead of attacking the blood reavers themselves. Also, you're going to be filling up your inventory pretty quickly. So you're going to have to manage your magic note paper with your scrolls quite often while doing this method. Or you're going to be missing so many opportunities on putting scrolls in your inventory. After about 10 minutes of doing this method, I came out with 107 Blood Reaver Scrolls. Which equates to me spending about 7.8 million GP in order to make all the binding contracts and to get all of my inventory full for what I need to do the method. Now I don't know if I got lucky or not, but I was able to sell 100 of them instantly for GE price. And after waiting a couple minutes, the rest sold at GE Press, which gave us a profit of about 9 million GP within that 10 minutes. So if we kept at the rate that we were doing with this method, we were gonna be looking at about 54 million GP per hour. Which is insane to think about that this is a method that is possibly AFKable if you have the right setup and maybe if you're even standing in the right spot within the ancient prison. But that does come to an end of the video. If you guys found anything useful with this method, make sure to hit that like. Maybe even consider subscribing for future content for money makers and novice PVM and when it comes to bosses and RuneScape. If you guys are also interested in the other binding contracts and how they do within the game, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make a video for you guys. But with that all being said, I hope you guys stay safe. See ya.